What's going on y'all? Welcome to episode number nine of the Six Week Challenge Wellness Series and it's a Q&A. As you've seen by the title, I got asked a heap of questions on Instagram all about like fitness, nutrition, mindset, cheat meals, um, personal stuff, the coronavirus, heaps of questions. First question was, favorite music at the moment? Um, I've really been vibing country music, especially Luke Combs. Um, all my training's pretty much to Luke Combs, which is the best part. Um, other than that, I can never go past like Parkway Drive and Polaris and bands like that. So I've got like, there's no in between. Queen Lizzie asked a few questions, but pre-workout routine, basically stretch and warm up cause um, because of my training and background and injury, there's always, it sounds so cliche, but a lot of warm up, a lot of stretching, um, and really just loosen off areas. Um, I always have a, generally a shake or like a tea or um, use some of our products that we use um, with Herb Life as a pre-workout so I can get my energy up, get fired up, put on some absolute tune, um, put some country music on, put some screamo or metal on and really get hyped up depending on the situation obviously and where I'm training and what I'm doing um, but when I was in the gym and the gyms were open I was doing cardio and actually walking to the gym prior to getting in my strength or weight training um, but yeah pre-worker training um, another question a couple of questions <laughs> Liz asked what my favorite cheat meal is uh, my favorite cheat meal at the moment it's pizza um, otherwise burgers um, I don't know, I've been doing, because like, we can't really leave the house, not much is open. Um, burgers, pizza, and Mexican will always be like my go-tos. Um, but we're doing a lot of stuff from home, so recreating healthy options. Um, and I will be doing a couple of like cooking videos um, coming up over the next few months, especially being in lockdown. So I'm going to show you guys some healthy meals. But yes, favorite cheat meals, burgers, pizzas, and burritos. Whew, I love this question. Now, fitness inspirations. Um, it would have to be currently there's like any any of the males that are um crossfit stars so you've got uh rich Froning, like the og matt fraser um we've got like in regards to like i guess bodybuilding or general overall fitness you do have like ross edgley He's in Gymshark, Steve Cook. Um, who else have I been watching heaps? Zach Perna always. Um, there's actually a fitness model in the UK called Lewis Young. His physique is like mind blowing. Um, but I find myself watching a guy called Craig Ritchie. His name on Instagram, I'll just give him a quick shout out is Carl Ritchie, so C-A-R-R, Ritchie, let me just double check, yes, so we look kind of similar, and he trains and has a home gym, and it's absolutely amazing, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but his account's unbelievable, his content's amazing, uh, he'd be like one of the major fitness inspirations, But there is so many. Like, um, I'm going to kind of talk about this as well. But fitness inspirations, you've got to be able to inspire yourself. Um, but looking up to those people was absolutely... Um, I guess my key and what I do in regards to my... All right, I'm going to leave um, one of Lizzie's questions till later on because there's a couple of questions pretty similar and get into some more random, like, funny ones. Um, got asked, boobs or bum? Depends on the situation, depends on who it is, and depends on what I'm feeling. It changes all the time. Um, also, <laughs> pyjamas or naked? I don't really own pyjamas. I sleep in underwear. Like, I don't know if you, that makes it makes any sense. Um, and sh this particular lady asked, what's the longest distance I've run? If you know me, I, you know, I don't enjoy running. Um, structured wise, probably like six, maybe six, six and a half K back in school. 
Um, but I did play footy and I played um, soccer, like rugby league, and I played foot, like soccer or football, depending where you're from. Um, so I probably ran more in games like that, but obviously it was never structured and I didn't track it. So yeah, I don't really enjoy running though. I've done running in workouts and stuff. Um, and when my knee's healthy, don't get me wrong, I will do um, more running and more cardio workouts and more conditioning workouts because it's actually quite fun. And you gotta work on your weaknesses. So now there's a couple of questions I already answered on my Instagram. You guys would have seen this, but I just wanna break them down a little bit more. Um, squats or deadlifts? Come on, focus now, one more, let's go. the moment um, I'm not really doing either in regards to a heaviness I'm doing a lot more like good mornings and stiff deadlifts with resistance bands and stuff being at home um, so I guess you could say deadlifts at the moment um, but only because of circumstances and my knee injury but I do love squats if anyone who knows me squats are amazing I actually love training legs I also got asked uh, what do you prefer treadmill stepper or cross trainer Again, depends on the situation. I spent so much time in a CrossFit gym in the last 12 months. Um, they have air runners, they have like bikes and stuff, but in regards to steps or cross trainers, they don't really, they're never really there. Um, so for me, when I'm in a conventional gym, I will personally prefer to use a treadmill. Um, but in saying that, a stepper is always good, depending on the cardio and what your goals are. Okay, I could talk about this question forever. The question was, how are you feeling with everything going on in the world at the moment? And it's a major topic. I just want to touch on it quickly. Basically, I'm pretty calm about it, knowing that I have feel myself uh, with the best. I look after myself and I am healthy um, and always been health conscious. But it is quite scary and it kind of... My concerning, like the thing that concerns me most about what's going on is um, the fear that's riddling people and what what circumstances people go to, to, I guess, like they're hoarding and panic buying things and like some of the stories you hear are ridiculous. Um, they're just listening to the media. The media's kind of blown it up. I know it's a, I know it is serious, but the media is like, caused a lot more fear and um, created that scared feeling amongst a lot of people. But, dark moment. We're not gonna go on in that topic for too much longer. Your favorite all time, sorry, all time favorite Herbalife product. Um, now I've been using the products for like three and a half going on four years guys and I feel absolutely incredible. And choosing one all time is like choosing a, your favorite child. Everyone says you've always got one but, um, I think the Herbies will know what I'm talking about. Banana Caramel Shake, Nutritional Shake, which is in the US. Raspberry Tea, which is in the US. Um, 
prepare, which is their pre-workout. Um, I can't really choose one. Rebuild strength over here. Alloy concentrate that's over here. They're all freaking amazing. They all make you feel good, and they're the best damn products in the world. All right. How do you stay focused all throughout the day and not get distracted at things? That is um, humbling because of someone obviously thinking that I <laughs> can stay focused and um, get shit done, which is good. But by all means, I'm like, I can get very distracted and people who know me, who are close to me, who work with me, understand that I'm still young. Like there's still a bit of immaturity in me and I, for me, it's just the goals are big enough to keep me keep me on track and if I am falling off track knowing that I'm falling away from things that I do want in life so in that sense what I would suggest is ask yourself if your goals are big enough and ask if your goals are what you truly want and are they driving you towards your success and if not are you doing what makes you happy I guess that could make more sense um, do you have a vision board I do I'm actually gonna put a photo in it right here And um, I actually need to update, I haven't done it in a little while, but pretty much it's all about physique goals, car goals, business goals, life goals. A vision board should fire you up when you look at it. It should scare the living shit out of you because you've got big goals on there um, and a whole lot of like dreams and desires that are cast across that board. Ooh, favorite body part to train. Now, when I first got started training, I hated training legs and I loved training shoulders. When I'm healthy, legs is like so much fun. I love training legs. Um, every male, that's the disclaimer. Most males love training chest um, and shoulders <laughs> and arms. Um, so I feel like where my strengths are at the moment and what I really do enjoy training is um, proper chest like in the weight room and in the gym um, but if it was like body weight training shoulders is like my go to because here's a story for you in my training and when I started chasing the physique goals that I wanted my shoulders were smaller than everywhere else and my lats so they were two areas that I focused on majorly to ensure that I bring them up, bring them up to, I guess, really create that V taper um, and give me the physique that I wanted. So um, I've kind of fallen in love with training shoulders um, as I started to see progress. But you can never forget to train your weaknesses. Um, I don't really enjoy training legs now. I don't really enjoy doing high intensity cardio. But to become the best version of myself and become the best athlete possible. You need to do that and it's hard for you to with my knee but uh what's your favorite thing about being a coach now initially when i first got started i wanted to coach purely just to make some income and live the life of my dreams um but i really believe now that it's the reward it's gonna sound cliche but when you fall in love with helping people that satisfaction is a lot more rewarding than the actual income that you earn. We get paid from the value that we add to the marketplace, not the hours we put in and not the time that we put in. I know people that do 80, 90 hour weeks, but they aren't fulfilled and they aren't satisfied with the life they're living. Um, so for me, it's really been able to change people's lives. Like I'll tell you guys a quick story while I'm, um, while I'm here and got this question. Um, I have a friend, team member, He's more of a, um, a brother to me now. Um, he actually got started, wanted to lose some weight, lost more than he said he wanted to, but he went on to reach out to his family. He has two sisters and his mum. All got started on their nutritional programs to better themselves. Their mum's lost over 25 kilos. The sisters collected, so him lost 12 kilos. His sister, younger sister lost 10 kilos. His older sister lost about the same, I believe, and his mum lost 25 kilos. So that's like over 50 to 60 kilos amongst the family. Um, and when I hear him share that, it is, it's heartwarming. He's changed his family's life and that's more rewarding to me than the money that I've made from him and the business that I made from him and his family. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, but it is, 
sounds cliche, but you really fall in love with helping people. Um, and the fact is, being able to be my own boss and be my um, build the future, build my future and build my foundations and set myself up financially by the time I'm 25 is like one of the bigger goals and why I love doing what I do. My good friend Tamara asked, if you could share one bit of wisdom to your younger self, what would it be? Um, okay, when I was in school and when I was growing up, I took a lot of pride in how I held myself and a lot of pride in how I went during school. Now, I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs or business people will say this, where school's less of a less important. Now, don't get me wrong, school taught me a lot. I loved school, um, but I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, i.e. I got bullied a lot in school too. So, um, I think really, I would tell myself that, look, you're gonna end up in the right place. Some higher being is in control of this. Just hold in there, don't give up, don't quit, because there was a lot of times, and guys, this is just like, I guess keep it lighter in this question, um, is really just stay true to yourself, do what you love, do what makes you happy, um, but understand that school isn't the be all and end all, and um, the higher beings, and you'll get looked after. I guess there too you can say it's a very very deep question but um, we could that's like a whole video in itself because there are so many lessons and especially stuff that I've learned over the last four years um, that I could apply to that uh, it's asked two ways so it's what is your main goal this year and the other question it was what is your biggest goal for 2020 now my goals I have over 20 goals for the year 5, 10, 15 yeah probably about 20 goals for the year and a lot of them are, um, are business related. So I actually stated my business goals on my story. Um, so firstly, my um, first big goal, my honestly, it's the biggest goal that I am striving towards is what they call global expansion team. So anyone in Hobies, they all know what I'm talking about. But basically, it signifies me helping, me and my team, uh, helping over 200 people. And really just creating that impact. Basically, it'll put me in a bracket of making five to $15,000 a month. And um, really, I'll be on the way to going full-time in my business and starting to live live that life that I really want and do what I love full-time. Uh, also, I do want to open my own smoothie bar, like nutrition smoothie bar. So you guys have seen Health Shack Bexley in my last videos. And eventually, you will see Parramatta Nutrition Center as well. And that's honestly the biggest, one of the bigger goals. Bring that to Wollongong, create that massive circle community where I can serve the best nutrition and create that positive and fun environment to people to hang out, to come in, to escape from the, the reality of life, honestly. Like for me, I was grateful that when I got brought into this space, it was my escape from the... I guess the negativity from the outside world. So I really want to create that positive atmosphere in that environment where people can come in and really just like live their life and um, be surrounded by positivity. I post about this on TikTok um, the day that I'm filming this today, um, all about who you surround yourself is really, really important. And I've heard this saying before, you are the average of the five people you spend your most time with. And generally, the more people you spend your most time with, you naturally pick up the habits and um, disciplines of those people. So if you're surrounding yourself with the healthy, healthy people, it's natural that you're going to start making healthier choices and being health conscious to work out and stuff like that. If you surround yourself with successful people, chances are you're going to become the average of those people and become successful in your own way. Hopefully that answers that question in regards to my goals. Um, that's more business goals, but personal wise. Um, obviously keep leveling up getting the best physique and look after my own health and initially it was to move out of home I still I can pay rent from home so I don't really need to go anywhere and um, it's really hard to say my I've got a lot of health goals in regards to my training but my really focus is just to continue to grow my mind grow my body in the way it, um, towards those goals and develop my business and help brand new people do the exact same thing. Offer this opportunity to absolutely everyone. Um, of course, grow YouTube, grow my socials. So guys, 
hit me up in all the socials. I'll put all my socials at the end of the video and on the screen here as well. This is a really good question. Um, what personal development books or audios are you reading at the moment? Now, I've just finished, oh, probably like a little while, like probably a week and a half, two weeks ago, I finished uh, Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. It's by Garane Jones. He's actually in um, Herbalife as well and runs other businesses um, and speaks as like a keynote speaker globally all about his upbringing and his journey to success because now he has multiple six-figure businesses um, and he's absolutely crushing it. He's in the best shape of his life and he's like over 40 years old, has a six-pack and looks ridiculous. Um, so if you guys want to get a hold of that, it's actually on Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can grab the link and I'll put it in the description for that book. Um, most of the time I use Audible because I don't really enjoy reading, but successful people read and success leaves clues. So um, trying to get the value in as much as I can but, and make sure it's focused listening. Um, so the book I actually am listening to on Audible at the moment, it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear and freaking amazing. It's only about five and a half hours long, so a lot shorter than some of the books on Audible, but it's powerful. So a lot of the tips and tricks and habits and disciplines that um, drive successful people, he speaks about that and how the small decisions create a massive impact in people's lives. Super powerful. So if you guys have Audible, go check that out as well. It's freaking amazing. Now, next question is, Lizzie asks, best book you've ever read? Now, I do want to say Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life is unbelievable. It really depends on the topics. So in regards to mindset and ch literally changing your life, Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life is hands down. I think one of the most impactful books, it was easy to read, it was small, it's like less than 150 pages long, nice and easy. Um, Think and Grow Rich though, I'm going to have to go back and read that because when I read it, it was I was at a different mindset level, so I'm going to go back and read that again. Um, but I also recently finished um, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I'm just going to kind of list a couple that I really, really love. Um, I just remembered while saying that, um, a book that really brought me out of a dark place that I actually got suggested by my mentor um, was The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Super powerful, really deep, makes you think, um, and that dragged me out of a dark place in my life. So, um, Lizzie, to answer your question, probably The Power of Now or Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life are the two most powerful um, books that I've ever read in regards to personal development and growing. Now. All right, fam, so I just had some new questions come in and my buddy Joseph from the Gold Coast asked, what are you most grateful for? Now, obviously it changes every day. I practice gratitude every single morning and it can be something as simple as the sun, the sunrise like it was yesterday when I did my cardio. Um, it can be simple as your bed, your hot tea, your family. Like, okay, but in regards to most grateful, I believe it's for me, uh, my health and my, um, in regards to physical and mental and the opportunity to be able to work on those things every single day and the resources that I have access to. Of course, friends, family, um, the home that I live in. But yeah, like practicing gratitude is um, such a powerful, powerful tool. And I learned this um, again yesterday from Coach Randa, so shout out to her. Um, you can't practice gratitude in a negative environment or a negative uh, state of mind. So it puts you naturally in a positive, positive place and really brings it out of you in regards to you can't pull gratitude from anywhere other than your heart and how you truly feel. So guys, even if you um, can practice one gratitude of a morning and one gratitude at night, apologies for the background noise, but it'll have a massive positive impact on your life. Great question, bro. That's amazing. Now, um, he actually also asked, what's the biggest lesson you've learned so far since starting your health journey? It takes time. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people will spend, let's say, 25 years and they get to an obese, like from birth to negative place where they want to, they want to make change. So birth to over here. And then they start a program and 30 days in they're like, it's not working. They expect a 25 year result of becoming overweight to change in four weeks. And I think for me is really just patience in that process and understanding that 
it took a while for you to get to where you are and where you start and it's going to take a while for you to get to your goal i didn't get six packs overnight or in the first like four weeks um really i continue to level up and three and a half years almost yeah so three and a half years on now um i'm found a way that works for me and um that's something that i've really got to express to my clientele that um, no matter the goal it does take time and it's a and it's a process it's a journey and we really like focus on educating people how to live that lifestyle rather than a diet wellness starts with well diet starts with die and live living whatever like it's it's a process it's a patience um really good question again he's been killing it now um are you a good dancer no i'm suck i've got two left feet and i'm like a robot but um and what is your favorite luke combs song i spoke about luke before um whew, that's like again picking a favorite trial let me go to spotify um houston we've got a problem one of the og songs let's have a look in his songs um even though i'm leaving is a really good song all over again um his cover of dive by ed sheeran is amazing um lonely one really good song don't tempt me really good song one number away there's so many don't ask me that that's a hard question um all right do you get downtime from socials and technology if so and how and when i do um i'll be honest not really um but i enjoy it like, i enjoy social media um, a lot of people get trapped in it but i enjoy um that process of um like even editing photo photos editing videos providing value um, putting up funny content on tiktok and really for me like i can take time away in regards to like won't post and won't share and that's totally cool um that's just like a decision thing and when i feel like burnt out or like i guess behind the eight ball a little bit um because it is my business um a lot of time it's 24 7 um my downtime and what i do anyway is like i'll go on youtube to watch some of my fitness inspirations like i spoke earlier um i'll surf i'll go to the gym and exercise um to get away but most of the time a lot of that gets put on socials anyway so it is a little bit hard for me that's something i'm working on every single day in regards to my i guess social media and stepping back and relaxing what up y'all welcome back short intermission a couple of seconds but we're back to answer some more questions there is going to have to be a part two though because you guys went ham in asking me some sick questions a couple uh, kind of link up and interact like a uh, intertwine so we'll see where we're at but um i had a question what's my favorite shake flavor um in regards to recipe um i always go back to there's a um shake flavor that i call like a tropical shake super fruity it's tastes freaking amazing it's got like mango in it berries in it um a handful of herbalife products and it tastes freaking bomb um that's actually on my instagram so if you guys want to scroll down and go find that um uh, tastes freaking amazing um how old am i i'm 21 Ooh, there's some deep questions i hadn't looked at these up until now guys so um i'll do this one first though this is a whole question on intermittent fasting so my thoughts on intermittent fasting um it's more of what like from what i know about it it's more of a um, eating pattern um, where you fast for several hours and then pack a heap of calories in a short amount of time um, apologies like obviously I'm not an expert on this on the subject I don't do it personally um, but um, how do I explain it I enjoy my food I have found a way that works for me and if intermittent fasting works for you get after it <laughs> you do you um, but yeah for me it's not like I don't feel like fasting is something that I could do personally. Um, it's very mental and if it works for you, go you. <laughs> These questions together. Now, I've got to ask, what's your dream job and what inspires you? Now, what inspires me is exactly what I'm doing um, in regards to helping people get in the best shape of their life and build, um, build my future and build the foundations 
for myself, my family, and my future generations. Um, that's really what fires me up. Um, health, fitness, nutrition, this whole industry fires me up. Um, in regards to like what inspires me personally, I love seeing people grow and develop and uh, become the best version of themselves. Um, and what's my dream job? I'm pretty sure like it, it's what I'm doing. Um, I love building my business and being my own boss and doing that, uh, I guess, entrepreneurship sort of side of things. Um, previously though, it used to be, obviously I wanted to be like a professional athlete in regards to surfing, um, rugby league or soccer back in the day. Um, and then obviously I wanted to be like a Gymshark athlete, still do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and like a Nike athlete or something like that, um, by all means, being paid by a company and sponsored would be pretty awesome. Um, so if it wasn't if I wasn't doing what I'm already doing, and um, that's what I would be aiming for in regards to get connections with companies and um, really be able to be that influencer, as they say. Going on, how did you get into health and fitness? These are all pretty linked questions. So I wanted to do wanted to do them together. And is basically I've played sport my whole life, and it was kind of a natural progression. I got brought up in a household where it was very active anyway, um, relatively health conscious in regards to fitness. Um, and then obviously through school, we learned a little bit more about health, fitness. And then I found Herbalife and learned pretty much everything I know about nutrition um, amongst the company and within the community and amongst the last three and a half years, three and a half to four years. And then I went on and studied intro course to nutrition and my certificates of fitness. And it's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. So that's kind of like how I got into it. And then I fell in love with the whole process. All right, y'all. So I'm just looking through um, and kind of deciding because I'm going to do three more questions in this video. And there's a lot here and a lot of topics I could cover. And this video could go for about four hours. So I really just wanted to share... Um, I got a question um, via this question box and it says, do you have any regrets? And like I just mentioned, this topic alone could go for hours on hours and hours, but I really want um, to, I guess, share two things. Now, with regrets in my life, I really just wish I wasn't as skeptical, um, closed-minded and quick to judge in situations, whether that be in school, within work, within herbal life. Um, just to put it in perspective, I said no for about four months um, to Herbalife and the opportunity to get into the best shape of my life. I wish I wasn't. Um, also, my second regret, this is the second one I was talking about, is um, comparing. And um, I guess comparing myself to others on the journey when someone could be on chapter 20 and you could be on chapter one. Like, I really wish I was open-minded enough to understand that everyone has their own race, um, everyone's on their own life journey, and comparing kills your success. One of the major regrets, I don't want to go into that in too extensive details, but if you guys have questions about any of these, um, questions about any of the answers that I give, please just hit me up, um, reach out on my socials, and I'll answer them and break them down a little bit more. The second question, Second last question I wanted to ask is actually from my mentor. And she asked, what is the one thing you feel you need to improve on most right now? And I love that this question's asked because we're always on a self-mastery journey and forever trying to improve and grow in areas. Now, personally, accepting the fact that the card, memory card, got full on the camera. So, um, what I was saying is, one thing I need to improve on, the having patience in my life, and that made me, and this allowed me, this break allowed me to think about how I wanted to articulate my answer, but um, having patience and understanding that life happens to everyone, the winds blow on us all, and if you just don't give up, you'll get to where you want to. Me, like... I really want my success and my goals to come quickly and having patience in that, being able to work on the skills I need in order to develop to get to the goals I want. And also relationship building. 
that is another thing that I feel like I really need to improve on um, in really just developing the skills to create that um, family-like culture and that love and that loyalty and honestly I just want to be able to leave people better than when I met them. I want them to have a positive um, positive experience with me no matter the situation. Now, second last Oh, sorry, not second. This is the final question to the first part one of my Q&A, and then I'm going to jump into the next one. Next part, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Now, I really just want to give you guys some value to finish out on, and the question is, what's your tip to become happy within yourself? And I spoke about this a little bit before in a question, and I truly think uh, having your personal goals, having... Um, a routine in regards to um, like affirmations, so feeding your mind and body with positivity and things that will uplift you, uh, practicing gratitude and really honing in on what you want in your life because a lot of people are just come to the point where they're just content, they're just, they're uncomfortable but they're not uncomfortable enough to make that change in their life. And if you can hone in on and really develop a routine and get after what you want um, while feeding your mind and body and um, soul with everything that's going to uplift it, I really think that is how you become happy within yourself, if that makes a sense. Hopefully that answered the question. But And that's going to do it for part one of our Q&A, guys. You guys are going to see it in the next video, the second part of this Q&A, because there is so many questions and as I mentioned, so many topics that I could go through, but a little bit about me, a little bit of rawness and a good way to, I think, round out this six week challenge series, really just kind of wrapping everything together and then we can lead into the next part of our journey because we do start a brand new six week challenge in three weeks time, two and a half weeks time. So not long at all, guys. If you have any questions in regards to these, Please hit me up in the socials. You'll see uh, my socials in the next handle anyway. And you saw I'm midway through the video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.